of pride it's your boy Amari back it again with another reaction video today we are getting into one of the info guides for blackpink this one's called a beginner's guide to blackpink i am a hundred percent certain that people are not going to be happy with this video and how do i know that because every single info guide i've ever reacted to ever people have complained that i didn't react to this other one that they wanted but Th this is the one I'm doing for today because the title makes it seem like it should be a good video and it also has a ton of views so I'm hoping that it's decent but if there is another guy that you would have preferred me to react to that I didn't know because I can't read your mind unfortunately because that would have been cool let me know in the comment section down below I'm shaking the camera but whatever we're gonna get into this video hopefully you guys are having a great day and I'll be seeing all of you guys on the other side Jisoo, Jenny, Lisa, and Rose dang it <laughs> I'm trying to look at the camera and say it. How do four girls living in four different countries with only nine songs? Korea, Thailand, New Zealand. Wait, no, Australia. Wait, hold on. Four different countries? What? How do four girls living in four? Oh, okay. New Zealand and Australia. Okay. All right. I was right. I was just... I see, I see, I put it together now. Four different countries with only nine songs to their name become the most viewed K-pop group of all time, perform at the largest American music festival, and sign to the same label as Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, and Maroon 5. It's One of these things is not like the other. Let me chill before I get canceled. Um, why don't they have a ton of music out? Like why, why do they only, I'm assuming this video is a few years old because it doesn't have um, Pink Venom on it, obviously. But that that's a very small catalog, right? Especially by K-pop standards because like they release music like every 37 seconds. So what in their creative process makes it where they release music less often? That I am curious to know. Time to welcome Blackpink to your area on today's Beginner's Guide to Blackpink. This K-pop... <laughs> 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 Blackpink has four <laughs> members. Jisoo, Jinny, Rose, and Lisa. They debuted in 2016 under the YG Entertainment Company. But all the cool kids just call it YG. Fans of Blackpink are called Blinks. Blinks. All you have to do is squish together black and pink and you'll get the picture, I think. <laughs> From the very beginning, Blackpink's image has been edgy, cool, and forward thinking. <laughs> picture lots of rapping. This video is, is so chaotic, but I guess I'm not a beginner because I did know that you guys are called Blinks already, and I did know that there were four of them. Uh, I did know that they were from different countries. But with that being said, most of what I know about Blackpink is literally from you guys in the comment section. So if there's any info that isn't in this video that you would like me to know, again, leave in the comment section down below. I do read all of my comments. Yes, every single one of them. I don't respond to all of them because I don't have the time. But... I do read all of them, so. Lots of dancing. Declarations of female power. And hair flips. Lots and lots of hair flips. So, let's meet the powerful ladies of Blackpink. Jisoo is the oldest member of Blackpink. She is also the only one born and raised in South Korea. Jisoo is one of Blackpink's lead vocalists. She's also the weirdest member. By far. <laughs> Yahoo! Jisoo has become well known for her gorgeous face and her childlike and friendly personality. She's one of the group's designated visuals, which just means she's hot. Jenny is the first member of Blackpink to go solo. So la 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 la. She was born in South Korea and grew up in New Zealand. Do you know any citizen New Zealand? Oh. Jenny's stone cold gaze and fierce rapping abilities quickly gave her the title of a diva. Though she would argue that she's no diva at all. Hi, <laughs> Rosie. Rose's smoky voice and hipster chic style makes her the indie darling of Blackpink. Think Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, but with the best Spotify playlist you've ever heard. Do you want me to? I really, really, really to the left, to the left. Falling in If you're singing along to the hook of any- Okay, so she plays guitar and piano. At least enough to, you know, do covers of songs. That's really cool. Uh, do any of the do any of the rest of them play instruments? If they don't cover that in this video, 
If you're singing along to the hook of any Blackpink song, you're most likely singing along with main vocalist Rose. Rose was born in New Zealand, but raised in Australia among the kangaroos. Good eye, mate. <laughs> Lisa is the youngest member of Blackpink. But you never guess it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> It's just like acting 101. You never guess it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> her otherworldly dancing abilities have earned La Lisa international clout. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna read all of those. I don't care. I'll cut it out. I'm I'm interested. Abilities have earned La Lisa international clout. <laughs> Fans all around the world are obsessed with this girl. Who is she? What is she doing? Oh my god, I love her. She's so cute. Plus. The way she can spit bars, it's like her and Jenny are a present day salt and pepper. Pig. What? Oh, <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Lisa, Lisa is from Thailand. Thailand. In case you haven't caught on already, Blackpink is the revolution. Blackpink has over 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> so, question with them being all from different countries. This this is a theory that I have just come up with and I'm curious what you guys think about it. Do you think that that has actually helped them, one, in their global appeal because now they have fans from their individual uh, different countries all coming to support them? I see all you Thai people in my comment section. Shouts out to you guys. But also because they are already used to other non-Korean cultures. And what I mean by that is it can be scary sometimes to go on the road to countries that you have never been to, to countries that are very different from what you are used to. And if you've been raised in a place like Korea, which is very homogenous, um, then it can be jarring, I'm assuming, to go to a place like Brazil or the United States where we have a ton of different people and cultures and craziness happening at any given time all at the same place. So I say that to say, do you guys think that them not originally being from Korea, not that like being from Korea gives you like a handicap or something, but them being from somewhere else and then coming to Korea helps them when they go to other places feel more comfortable because they are already used to being in a country that is not their native country. Just food for thought. Blackpink is the revolution. Blackpink has over 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Oprah doesn't even have that many. They're the highest charting female K-pop act on the US Billboard charts. And they're going to Coachella in like a week. How did they do all of that with literally nine songs? Blackpink's rise to fame can be traced back to three main. Okay, so 2019, there we go. But 2016 to 2019, they had nine songs. That's not a lot for K-pop at all. So my question from earlier about why don't they have a ton of music? And also this question here of how did they get so popular and successful with that small of a catalog? Both of those are, are very interesting to me. Factors. First is their pre-debut hype. Before Blackpink became Blackpink, they were Jisoo, Jenny, Rose, and Lisa. Four young trainees under YG Entertainment. In K-pop, becoming a trainee is similar to signing a contract with a Hollywood studio. In both situations, you first pass an audition. Then your company keeps you on retainer while you perfect your marketable skills like singing, dancing, public speaking, and twerking. <laughs> <laughs> then if your company finds a good fit for you, they will debut you to the public as an artist or group. Back in the golden age of Hollywood, the biggest studios were MGM, Paramount, Warner Bros. In modern day K-pop, however, the big entertainment companies are SM, JYP, and YG. They're also known as the big three. I was gonna say something. This really is a beginner's guide. This is like a beginner's guide to K-pop. Like they're explaining positions and the big three and everything. I, I know all of this stuff already, guys. I just wanna know about them, but I get it. Like if you've never been exposed to K-pop before, then this would all be very helpful information. Our SM, JYP, and YG. They're also known as the big three. The big three! The big three! <laughs> a major reason for Blackpink's early popularity was the grand mythology of YG and his girl groups. YG's first big girl group was 2NE1. They were a majorly popular group that became known around the world. What's the name of the group again? 2NE1. Uh, Take a look. Seriously, who was gonna follow up that? 
Therefore, Blackpink was entering a sacred space by even debuting. The second reason for Blackpink's success is Teddy Park. The in-house producer at YG named Teddy Park has helped to create all of Blackpink's nine songs. Boom by all, whistle, playing with fire, stay, as if it's your last, do da 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 forever young, really, and see you later. As well as all of their new songs. Kill this love, don't know what to do, kick it, and hope not. And let's not forget about Little Miss Jenny's solo. Having one lead producer helps give Blackpink's music a distinct color and vibe. You know it's a Blackpink song within the first five seconds of turning on the radio, or else they're not on the radio that day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Their music videos are also extremely high budget. Like, extremely. All of this order creates a Blackpink universe, kept vacuum sealed from the whims of other music styles and schedules that quickly turned these four trainees into untouchable icons. Finally, each member of Blackpink was handpicked and carefully balanced so that each one has a reason to shine. The small number of members and their distinct talents and personalities have given each one international first name recognition. This means that if I say Blackpink, chances are a fan will picture more than just a group. They'll picture individuals, moments, and movements. What makes this group so special is how these women and their fans buy into their own hype. Girl groups don't usually find the success that boy groups seem to have so easily. They face sexism ageism, and the overwhelming pressure to measure up to a million different unrealistic standards. But Blackpink has broken the mold by recruiting a large fan base of mostly women. Women who want to see pop stars that have a voice and a vision, not just a pretty smile. So, why do we love these girls so much? I think the answer is clear. <laughs> so, what's all the hype about, right? Sis, I think it's in the pudding. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about Blackpink. If you already knew a lot, please share this with someone who doesn't know that much about Blackpink because we want to introduce the world to our favorite girls. Nice. Ooh, Blackpink, 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 Jenny, Rose, and Lisa. And these two, they all make a black pink, and it's cool. And you're okay. I, at first, I thought this was a fan chant, but now I'm just. I, I think they're they're just freestyling. Anyway, that that bit about them like representing women empowerment and having a primarily female fan base and all that stuff that was really sweet. That's that's super dope. This video did not teach me that much about them though. So uh, sure, you guys are gonna be pissed off and tell me to go watch another video. So comment section, let me know more better videos that will teach me more better information yeah that makes no grammatical sense but hopefully you get what i'm saying because i'm american and our english is broken already anyway so you're gonna love them they're a really cool girl group and they have great songs sure there's other groups but baby, is that really what you want? Bless your soul, you're now standing black pink. You're gonna make them your friends, and they're gonna love you. And you're gonna wish that they could be your best friends. And you're all gonna win 1,200 Grammys. Ooh, black pink, black pink, black pink, Jisoo. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> My love. Dope. So, yeah, like I said, I'm sure you guys are going to bash that video because it didn't teach me that much about the group. But it was actually a pretty decent intro into K pop in general and like a decent intro into them. It just didn't teach me more than what you guys had already taught me in the comment section other than the fact that I like didn't realize that they were all from different countries that's pretty cool but anyway yeah let me know in the comment section down below what other intro to Blackpink video you would like me to watch because I know I know you guys are going to want me to watch another one so uh comment section let me know please thank you I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here on the channel with me. And I'll be seeing all of you guys here next time. So definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Not to miss any more content like this. You guys have a great day.